Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice math problem which is 8 to power x minus 2 to power x divided by 6 to power x minus 3 to power x. This is equal to 2. Given that x is a member of integers, so what is the value of x? Let's provide a solution from here. Now, we have 8 to power x minus 2 to power x over 6 to power x subtract 3 to power x. This is equal to 2. We can express 8 to power x as 2 to power 3 raised to power x subtract 2 to power x divided by 6 to power x can be expressed as 2 times 3 raised to power x then subtract 3 to power x. This is equal to 2. Now we have that 2 to power 3 raised to power x. This is in the form of 8 to power n raised to power m, which we can express as 8 to power m raised to power n. Let's apply this exponent property so that here we have 2 to power x raised to power 3 subtract 2 to power x divided by now we can express 2 times 3 to power x as 2 to power x times 3 to power x then subtract 3 to power x this is equal to 2. Now this implies from here we have that this is the same thing as 2 to power x times 3 this is 3x minus 2 to power x divided by 2 to power x times 3 to power x minus 3 to power x this is equal to 2. From here, we can factor out 2 to power x so that now we have 2 to power x into the parentheses. This is 2 to power 2x subtract 1 divided by, here we have 3 to power x is common. So we can factor out 3 to power x so that into the parentheses, here we have 2 to power x subtract 1. So this is equal to 2. The next step is that 2 to power 2x minus 1, this can be expressed as 2 to power 2x minus 1 squared. And this is in the form of a squared minus b squared, which is the difference of two squares, which we can express as a plus b, a minus b. So this implies here we'll have 2 to power x plus 1, and here we have 2 to power x subtract 1. So that now in the numerator part we have 2 to power x, then 2 to power x plus 1, 2 to power x minus 1, all this divided by 3 to power x, then 2 to power x minus 1. So now we have 2 to power x into the parentheses 2 to power x plus 1 and then 2 to power x minus 1. To simplify 2x minus 1, and 2x minus 1 in the denominator here. This implies that 2x minus 1, this is not equal to 0, and that 2 to power x is not equal to 1, and that x is not equal to 0. So since this condition owns is that 2 to power x minus 1 and 2 to power x minus 1 simplifies, so that now here we have 2 to power x, into the parentheses 2 to the power x plus 1 divided by 3 to the power x. This is equal to 2. So let's multiply both signs by 3 to the power x here by 3 to the power x. Let's simplify here so that now 2 to the power x times 2 to the power x plus 1. This is equal to 2 times 3 to the power x. Let's divide both signs by 2 here by 2, so that now we have here 2 to the power x divided by 2 multiplied by 2 to the power x plus 1. This is equal to 3 to the power x. Now, 2 to the power x divided by 2, this is 2 to the power 1. Remember, this is in the form of a to the power n over a to the power m which we can express as a to the power n minus m. Let's apply this exponent property so that now here we have 2 to the power x minus 1 into the parentheses 2 to the power x 
plus 1. This is equal to 3 to the power x. Now, the next step from here, let's check for x greater or equal to 2. So let's check for the value of x given that x is greater or equal to 2. Now, in this case, we have that 2 to the power x minus 1 multiplied by 2 to the power x plus 1, close the parentheses, this is equal to 3 to the power x. Now, for x greater or equal to 2, this means that the values of 2 to the power x minus 1, this will give us an even number, and also 2 to the power x plus 1, this will give us odd values. And this is equal to 3 to the power x. This is also odd. And this implies that this implies that even times odd, this is actually equal to even, even value. But you see that we have 3 to the power x, which is equal to odd. So this means that for values of x greater or equal to 2, this means there is no solution. So there is no solution for values of x greater or equal to 2. So let's proceed. Let's proceed to x equal to 1. So let's check x equal to 1. Let's check x equal to 1. So here we have 2 to the power x minus 1 into the parentheses 2 to the power x plus 1. This is equal to 3 to the power x. Now let's substitute 1 here. We have 2 to the power 1 minus 1 into the parentheses 2 to the power 1 plus 1. This is equal to 3 to the power 1. Now this implies we have 2 to the power 1 minus 1. This is equal to 2 to the power 0. Then into the parentheses, this is 2 plus 1. This is equal to 3 to the power 1, which is equal to 3. Now 2 to the power 0, this is 1. Multiplying by 2 plus 1, this is 3. This is equal to 3. So this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And that implies that x equal to 1 is a solution. Now, the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side, and this implies that x equal to 1 is a solution. Now, let's check for x. Now, let's suppose x, let's suppose x is equal to minus m. Let's suppose x is equal to minus m. And given that we have 2 to the power x minus 1, this into the parentheses, we have 2 to the power x plus 1. This is equal to 3 to the power x. Let's check x equal to minus m. Let's substitute this. So this implies that here we have 2 to the power minus m minus 1. Into the parentheses, this is 2 to the power minus m, then plus 1. This is equal to 3 raised to the power minus m. Now, this implies that 2 to the power minus m minus 1, this is the same thing as 1 over 2 to the power m. Now, we have 2 to the power minus m minus 1. This is the same thing as 1 over 2 to the power m plus 1. Now, this is multiplied by 2 to the power minus m. This is in the form of a to the power minus 1, which you can express as 1 over a. Let's apply this property so that here we have 1 over 2 to the power m plus 1. Close the bracket here. This is equal to 1 over 3 to the power m. So this implies that here we have 1 over 2 to the power m plus 1. Into the parentheses here, we find that the LCM here is 2 to the power m. 1 is a whole number, so this is over 1. 2 to the power m divided by 2 to the power m, this is 1, times 1, this is 1. Then plus 2 to the power m divided by 1, this is 2 to the power m times 1, this is 2 to the power m. Close the bracket, this is equal to 1 over 
3 to power m. The next step here, we have 1 over 2 to power m plus 1 into the parentheses. This is 2 to power m plus 1 over 2 to power m. This is equal to 1 over 3 to power m. Now, 2 to power m plus 1 times 2 to power m, this is in the form of a to power n times a to power m, which we can express as a to power n plus m. Applying this exponent property, then here we have 1 over, this is 2, 2 to power m plus 1 times m, this becomes 2 to power 2m plus 1, then multiplying by 2 to power m plus 1, this is equal to 1 over 3 to power m. So here we have 2 to power m plus 1 over 2 to power 2m plus 1. This is equal to 1 over 3 to power m. So let's cross multiply from here. So 2 to power m plus 1 divided by 2 to power 2m plus 1. This is equal to 1 over 3 to power m. So let's cross multiply from here. So this is the same thing as 3 to power m multiplied by 2 to power m plus 1. This is equal to 1 times 2 to power 2m plus 1. So this implies that here we have 3 to power m multiplied by 2 to power m plus 1. This is equal to 2 to power 2m plus 1. Now, given that for m, given that for m greater or equal to 1, this implies that 3 to power m from here, that is 3 to power m, this is, a, this is actually all value, this is actually all, and then 2 to power m plus 1 from here, this is also, this will give us a whole number pair. 3 to power m, is actually odd number, then 2 to power m plus 1 is also odd number, but now here we have 2 to power 2m plus 1, which is even. So if we say odd times odd, this will give us a odd number. And remember, odd number cannot be equal to even number. So this means that for m greater or equal to 1, this implies that there is no solution. There is no solutions for values of x. There is no solutions for values of x given that m is greater or equal to 1. So this implies that x equal to 1, this is the only solution. This is actually the only solution to this algebra problem. So kindly follow the steps. Like this video and subscribe. Kindly like this video and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.